Hello everyone, JP here with another Soulstone Survivor video. This time we will be trying for the time trial for the Spellblades. Like most of our other ones, our runes are going to be pretty consistent between Weapon Expert, Dash Mastery, Multicast Mastery, Critical Mastery, and Focus Fire. One difference here is we are actually going to be using his upgraded weapon. I know a lot of times we are trying to use the default, but... I believe you only need to get to rank 10 to utilize their upgraded weapon. So that is what we'll be using. And otherwise, it's going to be kind of the same tactic and same theme of we are going to be using mostly arcane for this character. Uh, kind of go along with the theme, hide in the corner, bunch of arcane skills. Thankfully, arcane skills are actually very strong. So if you've struggled with any of the past characters, up until now, this is a character that should definitely be able to help you complete that time trial with a lot less effort. With that said, let's get started. For our arena, let us go to... You know, let's go to the cage. We'll be on Curse Zero. No need to make it harder for ourselves. And let's go up to the corner. Now, with his second weapon, or I guess their second weapon, in combination with the weapon mastery, you already have a pretty good kind of like area of effect between the arcane overload and arcane slash. Yep, Arcane Disc. I don't think I've really heavily utilized the disc before. Yeah, I'll take Area of Effect. More levels for all my Arcane stuff. Arcane Blade. Okay. Essentially a large frontal slash. Banish Fire Shield. Banish Leviathan. And take Relentless. Hmm. See, this doesn't even do damage. I think we're going to reroll. Oh, there we go. Okay, Arcane Beam, I believe, is actually one of the stronger skills in the game. So, we will be taking that. Now, someone could very much correct me if I'm wrong. I believe most of the fastest speedruns involve just getting the multiple beam skills and buffing those up. Mind you, we're not trying for the fastest possible. We're just trying to do an in-themed victory on this guy.
If I recall correctly, though, I didn't like magic missing. So let's try Arcane Assault. Oh. I timed that wrong. But, again, zero curse. It's not going to be too hard just to recover. Ah, sure. Now, this second, Arcane Overload, I feel like that would be a very fun ability to take with the Singularity Rune. And just stack up like five or six Arcanes <clears throat> of this ability. Yeah, and just have five or six of those constantly going off. I feel like that could be fun. The last time I played with the Singularity Rune... I took six tornadoes or twisters. Wasn't the best. It was fun though. Don't need that. Boy, Shadow Orb. Damage increase. Thank you, Arcane, for being physical as well. Arcane Sparks is another actually good skill. Probably could have taken it over Blade or Assault. Maybe if I see it again, I'll take it. A little more crit chance, never hurt anyone. Actually, honestly, I'll probably replace Arcane Disc. It's fun. I just don't think it is as useful as I want it. Mind you, that's if I even see it again. Okay, we're at 423 and just downed the second Lord. I think we're being in a pretty good spot.
Okay, what is her crit up to now? 40%? There have definitely been times where it's been normally higher curse levels, you can get more levels there. But where I was still taking crit chance, not realizing I was past 100%. If you're anything like me, I am terrible at keeping track of some of that stuff. You know, I think we have the damage. Third boss down, right around six minutes. Also, if you're doing this, you do not need to move around nearly as much as I do. It's just something I like doing. I don't think it particularly benefits or hinders you. As long as you're not really leaving, I kind of form like a box between the corner and this like rock piece. I'm sorry, Arcane Disc. Ow. Okay, that was a lot of fire. But we're still doing good time. We're at seven minutes. Get more relentless. Our damage is there. I'll actually kind of laugh if Arcane Disc was one of my higher DPS skills. Well, there we have it, everyone. 812, one of our better time trials. So, yeah, this would get you your time trial. This will also get you Swift Justice 6, completing a match in under 9 minutes. Um, I don't really care about that. With that said, let us go see what our stats were. You know, I'm not disappointed that we got a Rift Disc. Sparks in the few little bit of time that we took it was actually a lot better. Okay. Let's see. DPS. Arcane Sparks through the roof on the DPS. Beam and Assault close behind it. And then Blade, Beam, Overload, and Slash all kind of somewhat closely grouped. Or actually not Beam. My apologies. Blade, Overload, and Slash all somewhat closely grouped. And Arcane Disc is kind of there at the end. Well, yeah. There you have it. Those are the stats. I hope this helped anyone out who was trying to go for the Spellblade time trial. If you liked this video, feel free to leave a like. If you want to see anything in particular for this game, or another game similar to this, 
please let me know in the comments. And if you want to keep seeing more of this, please subscribe. And I hope to see you all next time. Take care.